Hello everyone. In the previous part of the video, we have learned about matter, definition of matter, characteristics of matter, and force of cohesion and force of addition. Now we are going to learn about states of matter. So as we all know, there are three states of matter solid liquid and gas for example steel is a solid oil is a liquid and air is a gas so the example of the solid is steel liquid is oil and gas is air the substance of the state of substance can be changed by changing its physical condition such as temperature we can change from solid to liquid or liquid to gas by changing its temperature how if we give temperature solid to liquid if we give temperature liquid to gas and even if we take temperature from gas it will be temperature less it will be liquid if we again take temperature from liquid it will be gas by varying a temperature either by giving a temperature either by taking away the temperature one change can one state can be changed from one state to another and water can exist in all three states water can exist in all three states such as solid liquid state and gaseous state <coughs> now they have definite shape of size and definite shape solids are rigid they are very tight they have definite set of size they have definite size also they have definite shape also solid are rigid they have definite shape and definite size liquids are not rigid are liquid rigid no liquids are not rigid they have definite volume so if it put in a measuring cylinder they have a definite volume but no definite shape they take the shape of the container liquid are not rigid they do not have definite shape they have definite volume gas are also not rigid they have neither a definite volume nor a definite shape they take the volume of the volume and shape of the container gas also do not have def, do not have rigidity they do not have volume nor shape they take the volume from the container and shape also from the container now let's we learn about the properties which decide the state of substance i e solid liquid or gas we can easily tell water is a liquid how can we tell by looking at its properties and we can tell stone is an solid how can we tell by looking at its property and nitrogen has gas how can we tell by looking at its property let me look all these properties now the first property is intermolecular space you if you have seen the part one video you can come to know that intermolecular space is the space between the particles of matter if this is an matter the space between the particle so this much space th this space is known as the intermolecular space and force of attraction between the molecules the molecules are attracted to each other so that force of attraction attraction is known as the intermolecular force of attraction next kinetic energy or motion so these are the three things which tell the decide the which kind of sub which substance is in which state if there is more intermolecular space it can be neither a liquid nor a gas if there is more intermolecular force of attraction it is must must be solid it must be solid 
and if the kinetic energy is more it must be liquid or gas because if more the more, if more the intermolecular space more will be the kinetic energy i hope this much is clear let me learn detail about this solid when intermolecular force is very strong and kinetic energy is very less the intermolecular space is reduced and matter can exist in solid if intermolecular force of attraction is very more intermolecular force of attraction is very more intermolecular space is less and kinetic energy is also less means it is in the state of solid liquid when intermolecular force of force between the consequence molecules is not much strong and kinetic energy is sufficient for the molecules to move to and fro and intermolecular space is increased and matter can exist in solids when <coughs> intermolecular force means attraction force is less not very much more and space is more intermolecular space is more and kinetic energy is also more it is known as the uh, and that will be exist in the form of liquid and gas same as a liquid but more than a liquid when intermolecular force is negligible and kinetic energy is very high matter exists in the gaseous form if intermolecular force is very less very very less lesser than the liquid and kinetic energy is very more more than the liquid and and kinetic and intermolecular space is very more it can exist in the gas so that much is clear now let's we go for the molecular models okay each solid is made up of very tiny particles called molecules these molecules are very small in size and they can be assumed like a tiny rigid balls in solid they are made up of very tiny particles and these particles are very rigid the separation between two molecules in a solid is very small there is no intermolecular space the uh, the molecules in a solid can vibrate to and fro in their mean position they do not leave their position they have fixed position the molecules in a solid are closely packed due to the strong attractive force between them okay in solid there is a strong attractive force between them so if more in attractive force force and more in more intermolecular force of attraction it have definite size and volume now molecular model of the liquid each liquid is made up of very tiny particles called molecules these molecules are very small in size they are not rigid arrangement the intermolecular space is more than the like solids the space between the uh, liquid is more and the liquid the liquid molecule can move about their about their mean position to uh, mean position so if it is in liquid it can move in the mean position it can come it can come here it can come there it can come there okay the molecules in a liquid are less closely packed the position is not fixed as the free to move within the boundary of the vessel okay it is free to move within the boundary of vessels the, the this is because they are free to move in the brown boundary of vessels and it does not have fixed shape because there is less intermolecular force means more intermolecular space and less intermolecular force of attraction i hope this is clear i'm going to revise once the molecular model of liquid it is made up of liquid is made up of very tiny particles called very tiny particles these particles are not rigid and they have space between them they have kinetic energy and uh, these molecules can move to one fro and and due to the intermolecular force intermolecular force uh, they did not of fixed sh shape they do not have fixed shape they take the shape of the container why they take the shape of the container means they do not they have less intermolecular force of attraction and more intermolecular space i hope this is clear next 
molecules model of gases like solid liquid and gas are made up of very tiny particles called molecules these molecules are very small in size and can be assumed like in rigid homogeneous perfectly elastic balls so see the molecular arrangement in gases so the separation between the molecules are quietly large compared to solids and liquids see the space between them space between the gases very large if you see the space between the liquid see this much space this much space and when you see the space between the solid no space and thus we can tell that gas has more space when compared to solid and liquid okay the molecules in a gas can move about their mean position means they have to they can move and why gas take its shape of the container like liquid why gas take shape volume of a container because same as a liquid they have the gases have more intermolecular space and less intermolecular force of attraction that the reason that that is the reason they take the shape of the container and volume also liquid only take a shape of an shape of an container but gas take both shape shape and volume of an container so this thing what i said in the previous that only it is there so we can skip that so change of state change of state the process the process of change from one state to another in the absorption or rejection of the heat is known as a change of state by taking an heat by rejection of an heat triangle means heat okay by taking a heat and rejection of heat the change can state can be changed that change is known as the intermolecular change so change of solid into liquid or vice vice versa so change of solid to liquid okay that process is known as melting solid is rigid it convert into liquid means we all know that process is known as melting so that process happen by gaining the heat next change of liquid to gas liquid to gas when we give heat it evaporates that process is known as boiling or evaporation okay see this okay and again and again if liquid changes into solid that process is known as the freezing very important thing i'm going to explain again listen now and when when gas changes into liquid that process is known as the condensation and i'm going to explain again so solid to liquid solid to liquid what we will call melting melting and and liquid to solid freezing freezing next next liquid to gas evaporation sorry vaporization vaporization or boiling next gas to liquid condensation condensation i hope that is clear i hope that is clear solid solid to liquid melting liquid to solid freezing liquid to gas vaporization or boiling gas to liquid condensation write all these in your point notes book point notes okay the change of state is clear the and next change of state is solid in directly into gas so when solid directly changes into gas that process is known as the sublimation sublimation occur due to the presence of heat when solid directly changes into gas that process is known as sublimation 
in that process the liquid state does not come very important thing and when and when gas directly change into the solid gas directly change into the solid that process is known as the deposition that process is known as the deposition now let's go to the melting so as i said uh, as i said earlier the change of state from solid to liquid is known as the melting it takes place in the 0 degree celsius when there is a 0 degree celsius now let's we go for the freezing let me go for freezing so change of state from a substance from a liquid state to a solid is known as the freezing from liquid from liquid to solid solid is known as the freezing and the freezing also takes place in the zero degree celsius so let's we learn about one more thing that is the process of melting and freezing can also be demonstrated with naphthalene balls naphthalene or solid ice the process of melting and freezing can be demonstrated with powdered naphthalene and or solid ice okay for a substance the melting point and the freezing points are the same so as i told earlier for melting also i told melting will happen in zero degree celsius for freezing also i told it happened in the zero degree celsius means melting and boiling happen at the same degree celsius so now let's learn about the molecular model of melting so it, it is a solid we know that solid convert into liquid means that is known as the melting this is a solid this is a liquid that is known as the melting how we can demonstrate so it is a solid particle on eating the solid particle on eating the solid particle what happened the space between the molecule increases space between the molecule increases and kinetic energy will be more will be getting more and intermolecular force of attraction will be getting less and intermolecular space will be more and by giving it what happened kinetic energy will be more intermolecular force of attraction will be less intermolecular force of intermolecular force of space intermolecular space will be more it is a space it is attraction it is a kinetic energy when when kinetic energy is more attraction is less spacing is more at that time it convert into it convert into liquid that process is known as the melting and we have demonstrated by using the molecules and vaporization or boiling is nothing but a change of state from gaseous from liquid to gaseous state on heating or condensating temperature by absorbing heat is known as vaporization from liquid to solid from liquid to sorry gaseous state is known as the vaporization or boiling it takes place in the 100 degree celsius so i hope this much is clear and the remaining topic i'm going to discuss in the next part of video